here in New York City and we are bringing the world to you. Today we are here talking about Mauritius, which was inspired by our trip to this gorgeous island in the middle of the Indian Ocean. And we originally went to Mauritius thinking it was just some tax haven, but little did we know we were going to fall in love with the culture and the food. And so of course, here in New York City, the first person I thought of when I thought of Mauritian cuisine was my friend Nandini. Who, Thank by the you. way, guys, Nandine and her husband Yusuf are here with us today to talk about Mauritius and talk about mm -hmm. food and drink. But I have to say, these outfits you are rocking are pretty amazing. Oh, thank you very much. This is a sorry blouse from my mother that I'm sporting with a little bit of Lululemons. So it's like a mix and match I'm going for here. A little bit of Mauritian, a little bit of Western stuff. Well, you're rocking it. And Yusuf? It's again in the mother thing. It was, it was a gift. So. Yes, I love it. I can well, pimp out anything. If <laughs> Tell me, you know, when I went to Mauritius, I really didn't understand what Mauritius cuisine was about. Like, what are the main ingredients to Mauritius cuisine? Well, you know what? It's a it's a bigger dialogue actually, because Mauritius um, it's got it's a melting pot of diversity. So you've got different cuisines. So you've got French, Indian, Chinese, and Creole, and it's a mixture of all of those cuisines put together. So some of the ingredients could involve things like cumin, cardamom, but then you have the Chinese influence, so there's more noodles and rice. Uh, the African, they have more of the chutneys and more of the Creole sauces. Essentially, if you think about a bouillabaisse, that French influence, and it met a curry, that's kind of how I describe it, it's tomato based. It's a lighter version of Indian food and it incorporates all those countries, so it's really exciting. I like the idea of a lighter version of Indian food. Yes, it definitely is. It's definitely, I, I would say, it's definitely healthier. And you know, it uses coconut oil. It's got a very Ayurvedic base, which we're going to talk about. But it's certainly lighter, and it, you know, you don't feel so full. You know, when you go sometimes to Indians, and no offense, but <laughs> you kind of come out and you're like, I ate so much food, and like, but you know. Well, I um, don't feel that way in Mauritius. No, exactly, Mauritius. No, it's light. It's light. Light. It's light. Yes. You guys seem to know a lot about food and a lot about drink. Um, and I think it's because you guys have this incredible company called the Cocktail Architect. Yes, yes. it is. What is the Cocktail Ar Architect? Well, essentially we're a experiential catering and cocktail company. So what we do is we actually uh, tell the story of food in a multi-sensory sort of way. With cocktails. With cocktails, with food, and essentially that's really what we do in a nutshell. Nadini, how did the journey start with you guys? Well, you know what, we, we love food and drink. Like, we're the sort of people, if you ask us to come over to your house, we will bring dinner there for you. You know, we pack everything but the kitchen sink. And actually, true story. I kind of like not, this. Kind of like this. This is how we roll. This is how we roll. So we were invited camping. Yusuf actually uh, got me to go camping. And it was one of the first times I'd been. And everybody was asked to make a dish. And so what we did is we rolled up, everybody had their plastic knives and forks and, you know, their burger meats and, you know, buns. And Yusuf and I roll out with a pop-up table, a black tablecloth. We had uh, two Japanese knives, our spice racks, the oils. We had not one slice of plastic because we are very into being green. And, and, you know, everybody was like, whoa, what just happened? And we cooked a curry on the stove and everybody was like, we're like, yeah, this is how we roll. So it started with that love of food, basically. So that love of food, we thought, right, we've got to start doing something. Let's do some events. Let's do some actual pop-up experiential events. And why not start with something so beautiful as Ayurveda? Um, and what's Ayurveda? So really great question. I mean, right now, everybody's into health and wellness, right? Everybody's trying to maintain a balance. And actually, Ayurveda is one of the oldest sciences, um, Indian sciences, I should say, and it was founded by the rishis, like these spiritual devotees that would meditate and do self-observation and reflection. And they came up with the notion that the body, the mind and the spirit are connected. And actually, if you use Ayurvedic healing foods, you can actually prevent um, chronic illness. So the nourishing benefits of spices is very important. And actually, balancing your body types, and Ayurveda there's doshas, there's different body types, and all of the spices have this healing, nourishing ability to help with things like digestion, all sorts of things. So that's really what Ayurveda is about, and it's about balance. Cocktail Architect has come such a long way. Congratulations on all the success. Thank you. Yeah, we're feeling good about it. It's definitely great. And the CA now stands for Culinary Artists. So what started in mixology has now gone into food. 
and today we're going to be telling you all about our Pima Junkie experience. So what's piment? So Pima is actually the French word for chili. So chili junkie. And essentially that's what I am. I'm, I'm a chili junkie. I, it's my drug of choice. Like if I had to pick any vice, I'd be, it's chili. You know, I'll carry uh, chili sauce in my handbag. I'll, you know, I like to spice things up. You know, I like writing about food and drink in a spicy way and incorporating it into our food. You're a girl after my own heart so because good. I love my food spicy. Yes, good, so do we. So uh, I think actually Yusuf can take it from me. He's gonna tell you what we're gonna be making today. So we're making this very sexy drink called Zenet. Zina Taman was, uh, actually she was Miss India back in the day, and she was a little bit risque because she was a little bit revealing, but she was a sexy, powerful woman, and I think this is a great drink. It can be for a man or woman, but we decided to give this, you know, a little ode to Zina Taman and create this sexy drink for you. So we had some of uh, this really beautiful sp spaghetti squash that we roasted with a little bit of uh, paprika, salt, olive oil, roasted it, pureed it, put a little bit of cardamom. This is the cardamom, it's this beautiful green, it's when you yeah, pop it open, sweet. it's really hard shell, but it's all about the seeds inside. So when you open it, it's like you see this black beautiful, seeds. beautiful. It's used in like masala chai, and actually it's really good for digestion, cardamom. And, and there's this beautiful curry leaf that was roasted with the squash that we did today. If you blanch that stuff in oil, it just, just opens up. You don't I mean, have you smelled wow. that before? Because I haven't had fresh curry see? leaf in a long time, but this is really potent. So right? Like, you know, just it, one leaf. Yeah, it's quite decisive. How many leaves did you put in that? Two. Two for the whole mixture. Well, I was just going to say, I mean, my grandmother used to, you know, I have visions of her like taking these curry leaves and like dropping them into this curry, which is like almost like a cauldron and hearing the sizzle of them in the pan. And it's, it's for me, smell. it's like, yeah, exactly. The smell, it just, there's such a universal, uh, you can stick them in any kind of curry and they go great in cocktails. And actually, that's a big trend now, is putting cop spices into cocktails. So we're going to shake the drink now. <laughs> No one shakes a cocktail like you. You're just supposed to shake it now and then. Get rid of them, Really, you know, get it cold. And get it open. So is it true that the key to a good cocktail is ice? And, and uh, ice is thicker. You don't want, you know, wet ice. Because it's uh, diluted and be boring. You know what we like to call our cocktails? Sex in a glass. We want them to tantalize <laughs> your taste buds. This is a beautiful fall cocktail. Right. Merchant style. Right. So do we get to look at it or do we get to taste it? We have to taste it and look at it. Okay, let's do it. Let's do a cheers. 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 Oh my gosh. It always tastes like you're in the tropics, I don't know. If you were trying to accomplish sex in the glass, um, <laughs> well done, mission yeah. accomplished. Yes, the Z-Nuts, there you go, she is sex in the glass. Oh, this is amazing. So. But you know, while this is amazing, mm -hmm. we can't just be drinking, otherwise I'm going to be completely sauced. Um, and okay. these bites look way too good. Okay, you want to talk about the bites? Um, yes, please. Okay, sure. So to go with the cocktail, you know, with, with us, you know, in the Mauritian sort of way of things, they're called gadgets. Because if you think about like dim sum, you know, it's like a little collection of little bites. So we call them gadgets. And it's actually, comes actually, I think, from the French sort of influence of the country. So you know, you have a cocktail when you first arrive, sort of like a anti aperitif. So very much you'll have a cocktail with different gadgets. So we have a diff two different gadgets here. And again, those have been made using some of these beautiful healing spices. The first are my favorite. They're called Gato Pimars. Now, Gato Pimar is. Uh, it's essentially translated as, you remember that word pima? Yes, so yes. Gatto is cake, so it's chili cake. Oh, chili cake. So chili cakes, they're made with split peas, actually, and they're deep fried, and they have some... Onion, garlic. Exactly, onion, garlic, cilantro. Cumin. And, you know, whenever we would arrive in Mauritius, me and my family, before we even, like, left the airport, we'd go straight to the, the man that was selling these, the, the street vendor, and you would eat these piping hot and you could put them in bread, you can have them with chili sauce. They're so versatile, but they're delicious. So that's the first bite that we have. Is that vegetarian or does that yes. have... It is, it's actually vegan as well because of the split peas. So it's there's nothing in there that a vegan couldn't yeah. have either. So yeah. very there's healthy. No and you guys are going to share your secret recipes with us on Gallivant, aren't you? We will. For sure, we will. for sure. They'll be on your site and our site. For sure, they will be there, no problem at all. 
And uh, so the second, uh, you know, appetizer that we have, this is a take on sort of peri peri prawns because of that African influence, but it kind of met tandoori prawns. So it's kind of a little bit of an innovation, but it's using again delicious healing uh, spices that we've got here. So you've got a bit of cumin, a little bit of cardamom, there's certainly some chili in there. Now, chili, actually, these green chilies, they're really great for your skin, they actually give you a facial. Obviously, you have to be careful how many you eat. I mean, I eat these all the I time at home. Three don't day, I? Please. I literally like I'll eat them on the side. I think and that's why your skin is glowing right now. Oh, thank By you. the way, <laughs> <laughs> but no, they're they're delicious. So those two bites to go with a cocktail. We've got another cocktail it's in amazing. a second as well. And then you know, Mauritius is all about the condiments. It really is like. Like so, other cultures, like Mexico, they have their sauces and everything. So it's sachini is almost like a salsa. And then you have the raita, which is cucumber, yogurt, lemon juice, and, and sea salt. Yes, exactly. So when you're like, you know, it's too so spicy and hot, you it's eat cool. that with it, it takes care of it. it kind of calms it down. That's what it is. It's, it's exactly. It's like balancing the heat. So they can be spicy. So the, the writer's idea is to cool, cool the palate down. And so these, yeah, these are the condiments that go with it. And actually, Mauritian food isn't spicy you actually add the spice to your liking. So that's really oh, important. That's, so that's yeah, it's really nice. You, do, you don't have to. So you to, don't so really not... get the dish when it's like No, so it shouldn't hot. be like burn the roof of your mouth off. Do you know what I mean? Like I like chili, but I put it on. Mauritians put their chili on after separately. That way everybody gets to enjoy the meal and sort of like customize it to their own flavor. Do you so know what I mean? Choose so... your own adventure and spice. Exactly, exactly. Our next drink is actually a drink that has no alcohol in it. We like to call them virgin drinks. Snap peas, a little bit of aloe vera, organic, a little bit of lemon juice, nice oh, yeah, tonic for you to get up in the morning. Well, I can't wait to try it. Cheers. Cheers. It tastes like the garden. Fresh green peas, mm. the aloe vera. Yeah. I feel like a better person drinking this. Yeah, it's, re it's like you look hydration. better already. Like you're already like glowing <laughs> I'm more. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> well, I think before you guys came, Yusuf and Mandini, I don't think people even knew where Mauritius was, um, being in the Indian Ocean and having all of the Creole and Indian influences. Yeah. Oh. But today, not only do they know where Mauritius is. They know a little bit about the history, but they also have an idea of how to bring Mauritius home to them. Yeah, and hopefully, you know, you get a bit of a understanding that Mauritian people, it's about the hospitality, it's in our DNA, you know. You can't go to any relative's house unless they feed you or give you some food and have a good time. And that's really what I hope is a takeaway from here, you know, that Mauritian food and Mauritian people are very hospita hospitable and it's all about the food and drink and enjoying yourselves. And Cheers to that. Moment. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. And with the Cocktail Architect, it is always about good food and good wine. We can't wait to see what you guys have in store. And we will have all of the recipes on Cocktail Architect as well as Gallivant. Thank you so much for joining us for our slice of Mauritius this afternoon. Eat with us, drink with us, travel with us at Gallivant.